सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओं Mars type, the fifth type, and I have something that is quite interesting for us today. That is Jesus. Okay, I uh, where is it here? Here, vedicastro.com Jesus, and the main point is that Jesus is Chitra Nakshatra, Moon Chitra Nakshatra. Okay, there was no woman that it was like uh, representative. From this, and also there is uh, I don't know if you know who is Jair Bolsonaro, but it was the previous president of Brazil. And uh, if we have time, we're also going to discuss <laughs> discuss that. Okay, so today's nakshatras are Mrigashira, Chitra, and Dhanushta. Um, in the Portuguese version of this series, I have studied the chart of Woody Allen. And Woody Allen is a good case that you can go and see in the Wikipedia to see the karmic periods uh, in Woody Allen. It's very funny uh, because it's a long lifespan. It's quite interesting. Okay. So, Rigashira, Chitra, and Danishta are the middle point of those pariyas, those nine nakshatras. It's going to be the fifth, the 14th, and the 23. There are some other stuff about these nakshatras, but if we have the time, I, I am going to comment those crazy stuff. Let's go uh, through the basic of today's that we need to talk. In the free class, we spoke about George, George W. Bush. He was Chitra Nakshatra, born 90% uh, left. So this is very interesting because he was born like in the beginning of Mars Dasha. So it's going to be a, a important um, parameter that we can see here. First Pada, seven years. Plus 18, 25, plus 16, 41, plus, six, plus 19, 50. So arriving at the fifth karmic period from 43 to 50 is something that is quite good. Even if the person is born with one second in the uh, Mars karmic period, that means that the person will reach the fifth karmic period with 43. And reaching the fifth karmic period with 43 is not too young, okay? It's better to be around 50 or so, but it's quite accepted, okay? In my example, I'm going to be reaching the fifth karmic period with 37. It's kind of too early. In the case of Yanni, she's going to be reaching her fifth karmic period. Who knows when? <laughs> she's on her second karmic period, and there's going to be still a lot of more time to, to go. Okay. <laughs> so reaching the fifth karmic period after 42, after 48, are some ages where Rahu is more stable. I think there was a Rajani. Uh, question in the group that it was not answered. And the question was why having Rahu in the third karmic period is so awful? <laughs> the answer is because Rahu, the, the word that we appears in the internet is matures. Okay? Rahu and Ketu matures around 40s. So when you're having Rahu before 40 years old, 50 years old, 
the the probability that you that you uh, sail that Rahu period in a not insane manner is is it's much more challenge, okay? Because we can say that Rahu is a very strong um, uh, hormonal emotional um, push. It's difficult to be stable. There is a kind of a, um, those thin parts. In Brazil, there is one, usually they are very cheap, but there is one, one game there that the thing spins. It also changes the, uh, the inclination and it also shakes. Do you know that kind of uh, toy? It's not a toy. It's a um, thing that you go in. It's very difficult to be stable on those things because it has three different movies. It's spinning, it's changing the inclination, and it's also rocking. Okay? Rahu period is like that. <laughs> the eyeness is too strong. And you can say, oh, it can be very good because Rahu is a very explosive energy and the third karmic period is can benefit from a highly intensive uh, energy. It's true, but it also can explode, explode itself. When Rahu is in the fifth karmic period, that is for people born in Venus uh, type, by definition, is going to be just like People born in Moon is going to have uh, Rahu as the third. Venus is going to be Rahu in the fifth. Okay. One thing that we should clarify is that the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh are outward projected karmic periods. And these will be called male or sun. Second, fourth, and sixth are going to be inward projected, and this is going to be called female or moon. Okay? Sun energy is to split things. Moon energy is to join things. Okay? So odd numbers usually will have sun energy. Even numbers will usually will have moon energy. Okay? As like, we also have the idea that there are male energies in the grahas and female energy in the grahas. Usually it's going to be called male grahas, uh, Mars, Jupiter, and Sun. That is Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay? Monday, moon. Budavar, Wednesday, Mercury. And Shukravar, Friday, Venus, are considered more feminine. Actually, Mercury is called... Um, Ungura Venama, Ungura Venama. Om Gurave Namah, Om Gurave Namah, Om Gurave Namah, Om Gurave Namah. 